What's up YouTube, Luke the Window Cleaner, Rihanna. Today is Boamps and beer. And a couple beers. <laughs> a hip bucket review. <laughs> First up, we have the Soft Boab. Rihanna? It's the original Soft Bob, made in the USA. USA. <laughs> Uh, this guy is pretty flimsy, has <laughs> plenty of storage though. You could probably fit like three mops in this big old hole right there and uh, a couple squeegees in each one of these holes, which I would not recommend. And then you have this whole other little strap here. You could probably put another squeegee. So plenty of storage space, but is it practical? No, it's not. Um, it hangs down too low in your pants. You can see that's where it's going to hit your belt right there. So if you think about where it's going to hit you, it's going to ride down. It's probably near your knee because you guys are all tiny little guys. Um, I would not recommend buying this, but if you do use this, please go to Luke the Window Cleaner on Facebook and yes. send us a picture of you using it, and I will just giggle away at you <laughs> in this ancient... Bob. As Rena said, it's a little flimsy. I don't know how I would like that. What I've seen is that um, your squeegees kind of get stuck in there. I don't know, maybe with some solution, it would go in a lot smoother. Um, you could carry like just a crazy amount of squeegees. So this one, for you guys that like to carry a lot of squeegees, this Boab is for you. Custodian. <laughs> this one's gonna get the job done. Custodian, <laughs> this is it. Oh, this is Luke's favorite. <laughs> and his first. This is his first. This is my first Boab. This is the Ettore Sidekick. Um, this is the uh, the most worthless uh, hip bucket you can possibly purchase. I would highly recommend not buying this Boab. Uh, simply because, guys, you're just limited to one tube. And I think most window cleaners like to have at least the option of carrying two squeegees. Now, I know already there's going to be a guy that first comments, why aren't you guys drinking craft beer? And secondly, <laughs> there's going to be another guy that comments, I love that hip bucket. And that's awesome. This is just our opinion. Um, I don't think this is a very uh, practical hip bucket. Um, it's also kind of narrow right here. Unlike the soft Boab, this has got a very narrow uh, opening for your applicator to go in, so it not, it, it's, uh, it's a great way of keeping your pants wet throughout the workday. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you want a second tube, it's not happening. Um, it does not accommodate the Ninja at all. It will accommodate a, uh, I think, uh, like a Sorbo or a Super Channel wide body. It will accommodate that. And it will accommodate just a standard squeegee as well. But that's it. So if you want your second one, not happening. There's some guys that have actually hacked this bucket and they stick it in behind the applicator, which is pretty amazing. Um, yeah. So old Wayne Schultz over there who ghosted on us. We were supposed to talk. We were gonna have a meeting and talk to him about some of our problems we've had with his um, tools and bobs and why is he not changing anything ever or coming out with anything new ever. Um, this one's for you, buddy. Next is the ABC crown, Triple Crown Hip Bucket. So, Triple Crown is the only hip bucket, uh, ABC Triple Crown is the only hip bucket that offers any different color at all. Um, everyone else kind of sticks with blue or black. So what it's I like bait. They rule. They reel you in with that little different colors. Yeah. So Luke has always ordered from Window Cleaning Resource, but I saw the purple and the red, and I think they have an orange one on ABC, and I was like, oh, I want a fun one. So I went and I ordered myself. A red, and I've had a purple. My first one, I think, was a purple, and I got it, and I, it cracked almost in, I think it was like the first week I had it, it yeah. cracked. 
Um, so I was like, well, that's just a bad hip bucket. So then I got a red one. I was like, hooray, I got another one. It's fun, too. <laughs> uh, and the same thing happened in the same place. There is a crack here. Every single time. The plastic is so brittle that uh, using a super channel or anything that's super metal, uh, if you just tap it, just the super slightest, metal. it's super metal. I am drunk. So any super channel that you're putting into your hip bucket hits that in the slightest bit, it's going to crack your hip bucket. Not only that, you're going to get a chip here as well. Same thing, it's going to start ruining your rubber. And yeah, you might think, oh, it's just the one time, it's like a bad, I got a hit, bad hip bucket. And it's not, it's every single one. It is a huge waste of money. Um, I do like that it fits the super channel pretty well. And I have the option to carry three squeegees, not the ninja. Um, <laughs> no, the ninja <laughs> does not fit well in that bucket. You can fit the little guy in here, and he's pretty comfortable. And the, mm -hmm. the way that the, the handles of the squeegee work is like pretty condensed, and so you're not bumping into anything. You don't, I mean, you could put it like this, but you don't have to. But you could. That's an option, you guys. No, that's not a good option. That's, that's <laughs> okay. Overall, the Triple Crown ABC hip bucket is, uh, this is just complete uh, poor quality all right here. Yeah. Um, like Rihanna said, I'm just going to go over a quick couple of things. Stitching will blow out. I've had these metal um, uh, clamps or these metal pins here break. The plastic is crap. It's just uh, don't waste your money on it. Um, if someone else would just step up to the plate, make some fun colors, that would be cool. Thanks, guys. So the Pulex bucket looks exactly like the one from ABC. Um, it only comes in blue. And when Luke ordered me this bucket, I was like, you're getting me the same bucket that's been breaking on me. Oh, no. Every week. And that is not the case. Uh, I've had zero cracks here. Um, I don't know if it's a little thicker right here. It feels a little thicker than the ABC bucket. The plastic doesn't feel as, I, I don't know, dense maybe. So I've had no real cracking. You do see some wear from me putting my super channel in. Uh, but that hasn't really affected this side of it, the inner side of it. So um, it, it, to me, this is fine. It doesn't go the 360. The stitching is held up really well. It cleans up really well. Um, yeah. It, you can hold three different uh, squeegees. Um, of course, not a very long one, but I mean, my, it fits my 18 just fine. And if I'm doing cut-ups, I can fit really any t any size squeegee in here, and it's fine. Um, overall, I think this is our favorite go-to hip bucket right here. Um, it's made really well. The only thing is Polex. I know it sounds like such a trivial thing, but if one company would just step up to the plate and you say, you know what, we're going to make these in different colors because a lot of guys want these to match their company colors, um, that would be awesome. And another thing is, it's 2017. Why have we not come up with the technology for a Boab to accommodate a 22-inch squeegee? Because, see, here's the problem. Let's fish through these squeegees. So this is what it looks like when a 22 inch fits in the largest slot. This is really cumbersome. So why not extend this tube out and then, I don't know, even extend these tubes out as well. That would be fine because extending these tubes out, most guys always want to carry an 18. If you're carrying a 22, uh, you still may want to carry an 18. I don't know. It's just, it, it, I hear a lot of guys complain about that and they're always going to different uh, buckets. I know other buckets we're going to get to here in a second accommodate 22s much better. But I wish that was the case. So, come on, Polex. It's got beer in it. Let's drink it out of it earlier. This is the Ninja uh, bucket on a belt. It has got a swivel, uh, detachable clip here, which is quite a nuisance because oh. there is times that this will kind of tip over on you and spill out when you don't want it to. Especially like when you're in someone's house. Yeah. I took one look at that bucket and was like, that's not going to work for me. Um, the Ninja bucket on the belt is, uh, in my opinion, the best bucket, obviously, for your Ninja uh, channels. They, they fit in really well, but the only problem with it is, is that you're pretty much stuck with this configuration. 
Which is normally fine, say you're doing storefronts yes. every day, but when you go into a rich lady's house who has like a bunch of cat figurines on a table right by a window, this is not the best setup this for This is that. like, here, let, let me bump into Waldo and break <laughs> things. Like, no, this is a horrible idea. Because yeah. the idea is, see, when you do this, if you see the squeegees start overlap, the handles start overlapping each other, so you can't get your other one out. Um, it it really does just kind of make it a pain in the butt. And when you try to do this here, you think this idea is going to work really well, but every once in a while, even if you're using a ninja, it gets trapped in these slots that are in here. So uh, when you're using standard squeegees, it is the worst. And this is what we use for residential, so they'll get trapped in here really easily and it's really annoying especially if you're on a ladder if you're using small ones just kiss that goodbye small ones just fall out non-stop what happens is when you take your applicator out it just pushes this guy right out all the time because they've oversized these slots to accommodate the ninja this one will fit a 22 though too this one does fit a 22 a little bit better um than our other hip bucket it really does you bet crazy cats um the ninja also has an extra slot here uh, for a smaller razor to go into some guys find that handy we use a six inch razor so we didn't really utilize that all in all this is a durable hip bucket i would highly recommend this bucket if you're using younger ninjas and there uh, i would also highly recommend this bucket for storefront work this is just fine for storefront work for residential it's not really my go-to okay so now we have like the mini ninja uh basically it's the mormon hip bucket uh, window cleaning resource was nice enough to send this to us because uh, we did not have one. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Chris and Alex. Um, it's basically the same thing. It, it fits the 22 really well, I would say. Better than the Ninja does even. Yeah. Uh, it feels really durable. Um, it has like a little slot right here which stops. I mean, this is not going anywhere. And that's what I look for. If, if I'm going in someone's house, I do not want this to tip with me. I don't want it to tip over with me. I want it to stay pretty upright. And this thing will. It is in the Mormon blue, which is a little disappointing because Mr. Guy can't... Because Guy loves this color apparently and he won't <laughs> he is obsessed he with will that not blue, change any color it's, it's mormon blue or nothing uh we asked guy if he would be willing to put in some fun colors into things and he never got back to us on that one so guy thank you too i wish companies would realize that that is kind of a like a small thing for some companies, we want it like fun colors, we want to match colors with our company, and when you guys come out with just Mormon blue, can't do that, so You guys do you. have like the best sleeve out there in the Mormon blue. That yeah. I will give you, and we'll probably do a sleeve review eventually, but to me, your sleeves are the best, but it would be even better if it came in lime green, in my opinion. It would be. They would actually clean windows much better that way. <laughs> And Luke um, pointed this out to me. Uh, it, it has an interesting way of clipping on your belt. Yeah, that, that is pretty that cool. That none of the other ones that we have do. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so it looks like here um, you can just clip this on your belt on the side, which is kind of nice so you don't have to like take everything apart to do this. Um, and this is a detachable uh, clip system. Um, all in all, this does seem like a pretty durable uh, bucket. Again, it's got the same problem. They're not oversized um, tubes in here, but they have the slots. And what I mean by oversized, they're not oversized for the ninja. So this will not fit a ninja. It will fit wide body channels, and it looks like it will hold on to standard channels a little bit better as well. But the thing is, is those slots, when you're using standard channels, they're still going to kind of get stuck in there at times. And they still have to be pointed out. And they still have to be pointed out in a certain configuration, which we do not particularly like we like the uh, uh, triple crown configuration I guess you could say that the uh, Polex has guys I would also like to make a huge shout out to Ricky Oldag um, from Germany um, painting this hip bucket with our uh, our avatar on here I thought that was really cool of you Ricky thank you very much we really like this bucket I'm not going to use this bucket we're going to hang this like a trophy in the uh, home office here if you want to find him on Facebook it's R-I-C-I -I Old Ag, 
Uh, we'll leave a link below yes. so you can find him on Facebook. Uh, he paints in buckets all the time. You'll see him doing like Star Wars and it's just really cool stuff. So awesome. uh, check him out on Facebook. Um, I believe he just got a bunch of new hit buckets in and he's going to be painting a bunch of new stuff. So, Ricky, thank you very much. Thank we you really very appreciate much. That this. Really that was cool. really cool. It's going to be on our wall. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this review has helped you. If, all right, so um, if we had to suggest a hip bucket, um, if you use ninjas, obviously get the ninja hip bucket. Yes. That's going to work best for you. Um, we like the Polex. I think if you're using a Sorbo or an Adore Super Channel, that the, the Polex is going to be the best for you to get. I, I think it runs about 20 bucks on Window Cleaning Resource. It's super affordable, and it lasts way longer than... The fun colored ones from ABC or whatever other. They're junk. Yeah, they're complete junk. Um, coming from a person who's bought like three of them. Yeah. It's a huge waste of money. Somebody the other day said that I like changing out my hip buckets more than a woman likes buying shoes or something like that. So it's not really the case, man. It's just they keep breaking and we kind of like the fun colors. But that's why you keep seeing us with all those different hip buckets. It was Jacob from the forum. What's up, Playa? So if you guys would like to purchase any of the hip buckets that we just reviewed, you can visit Window Cleaning Resource, except for the uh, worst one, the ABC bucket. Just don't even purchase it. It's not worth it. It'll break. And if you want to buy a real crappy hip bucket that only holds one squeegee, please check out the Ettery Sidekick. Thanks, Wayne.